Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we'll be downloading top seven must have Android app for 2025. This is month of April, and guess what? These apps are completely free. Some available on different websites like GitHub, some available on Play Store. So it doesn't matter what reason you live in or what country you live in, you will be able to enjoy this one. And I'll throw everything in a link in the description below, including all my videos, download links, as well as well as the timestamp. If you have missed my previous video, don't worry about it. I'll throw a card in the corner right here for you guys. So you can go click on that one and you'll be able to enjoy all my older videos and i upload shorts every single day so you don't miss out on any things as well and if you're watching this video for the first time consider subscribing don't forget to press the bell notification icon as well as well as thumbs up for this video would be awesome let's jump into number one app okay number one in the list is called a grok better spell like g-r-o-k so grok this is an ai driven which is made by axe with aka twitter actually better response than a chat gpd completely free by the way you can select with a different version if you want to go with the grok 3 which is i think a chat gpt 3 version and uh, grok 2 as well which is the older um, model so it is a bit slower and uh, has a limited knowledge however grok 3 this is a smartest one of all as chat gpt this doesn't have any limitation like how many questions you can ask what you can do you can do deep search as well so if you want to do deep search about anything if you want to think like uh, if you want to say okay think like this person or act like this person this will actually do the job as well so it actually can recall knowledge as well so every time you uh, select it it will be a chat history you click on that one and you'll be able to do it what you could do is if you have a twitter or aka x account then you can go sign in and you'll be able to enjoy uh, all this one as well so you can see if you go into settings as well super grok uh, unlock feature so if you want to go pay for this one then guarantee access for super grok 3 a more deep search early access for new feature if you want to pay monthly uh you know, yearly as well if you want to pay but you don't have to pay that's the whole thing so you can actually work with this app application uh, without any issue so this is a better than chat gpt 100 sure let's move into app number two as well okay another app that is an ai driven as well so i don't know whether you actually have used this one or not so this is built in on your whatsapp so if you have a whatsapp so i want you to go into whatsapp and try to look for a meta ai so meta ai this is a free ai driven thing so that means a meta means like obviously this is made by facebook so it does have an ai built in it is a llama 4 which is large language model and it is a 4 that means it has everything built in on it you can ask for anything you can ask for generate images as well like for example i'll just write generate smiley face it, and it has a faster response as well you can see we'll just click on that one wait for a few seconds and depending on the internet speed it actually can generate different things as well you can see and realistic you can ask multiple times as many as you wanted there's no restriction like chat gpt and this is a sort of chat gpt for a level as well so that means you'll be able to generate images i think deep search and everything so it is completely free built in and if you have a meta raven then guess what you can actually use that meta ai and that's actually cool as well so if you want, haven't checked my video you can go check my video as well so that cool meta ai as well so this again you can do a lot of things you can say if you want to uh put it as as an um, shortcut so you can open that up and then uh, click on the meta three dot menu and you can see share or add shortcuts so press add shortcut and you'll be able to add shortcuts clear chat or i can just clear all my chat history i can go back here export the chat history and everything as well so this is just an uh, ai built in on your whatsapp as well this is a very useful technically every single day as well so this is a great thing and you can see what it actually does as well so this is free available on play store app store and guess what you must have have this one already installed on your device as well so give it a try and comment down below if you like this one or not now let's move to app number three okay app number three in a list is called termus spelled like t-e-r-m-u-x so termux this is a smaller version of linux operating system running on a device so just take that way so you can test a lot of things like a command line version as well and if you want to install some different application uh, in terms of linux it's like sort of sandboxing then you can try it and this one as well so termux it is a very good application if you want to search into some different uh, home lab or something like that you know what this is a very useful application uh, if you want to get hands around with linux operating system with the command line this is a very good starting point for you as well so you can i'll do some sort of research um just play around with here and then later down the track you can uh, transfer or shift to your pc as well so you can do a whole lot of things for example i'll just show you one command which is apt which is apt update 
and then you can see it, what what it does is actually run an update and the system as well so it is actually connecting with the internet as well so if i'm going to run app upgrade so that means your app, so you're upgrading the system, then it, yes, there is one update available, press yes, which is why it means yes, I press enter, then it will start going in the mirror, and it will start installing this application, like a whatever update you're getting. So this is a Linux-based term. It has a big potential. If you start tweaking around, oh, you know, if you start playing with this one then later down the track you'll be able to shift it to the pc as i mentioned before and then this will be a great hands-on experience for you if you're trying to get into the linux world and that's app number three okay app number four on the list is called Sapphira, spelled like s-e-f-i-r-a-h so this is a great platform for you if you're using an uh, android as well as you want to use a windows that you want to connect uh, instead of using a link to windows then what you could do is you can use this one this is an open source version of that one so you can connect with it uh with a different thing and then you'll be able to do a whole lot of things i do have a windows installed on my mac which is m3 mac as a virtualization but what you could do is you can actually can sync clipboard with the desktop as well so that means a desktop and this one will have a, a sync as well so sort of a mac hands a feature and receive image on a clipboard as well sync notifications sync messages so desktop media playback auto device restorers access network configuration app permission storage you can technically do whatever you can you could do with that linked or kd connect this is the second version of that one or if you can compare this one with the local send local send is a little bit more advanced than this one but this is something a very simple but a very useful application you can use it as well give it a try comment down below how this goes and now let's move into the next app okay app number five in the list is called dolby on so dolby on this is a great application if you want to record a video or an audio and have the audio in a higher quality so it will actually clean up the audio it will actually try to reduce the background noise as well so but you will see um, and you will hear that there will be a better audio producing from the your own smartphone so again this is available on android as well as ios as well so you can give it a try both of you and let's see what option do we have so if you're going to settings as well uh, you can recording tips it will already provide that if you want to uh, spread the words around please do sp spread the words around because this is a great audio application dolby is a great thing uh dolby sound how the music is recorded you can see counter so three two one you know when you start the video a loss less audio so it will actually uncompressed audio as well and export settings as well if you want to connect with the soundcloud or facebook twitch or connect to youtube you can actually do that as well so this is a great application so let's move on to this one i've done a couple of testing here but let's press that and then you'll be able to see that first one is the microphone that means for your audio second one is for video so you can see the video or if you want to just go back here and then kick off with a live stream guess what you can kick off the live stream with a better audio quality now let's give it a test and see what sort of audio response you might be able to hear it. okay let's uh start with this audio so all right test test this is an audio test from dolby on the application and you will hear that noise and you will hear that a little bit of crisp sound from the device itself so when i press that then you can see the dolby would actually start doing something and you so, press the uh, test test this is an audio test from dolby on the application and you will hear that noise and you will hear that a little bit of crisp sound from the device itself so if you turn this on so this is dolby off and you can hear it so, uh, test, test. This is an audio test. It sounds a little bit off, but if you turn on the Dolby on, then it will sound a much more crisp. But if you want to clean up some more, then you can. There's tools on the bottom, nature style thumb, or you want to whatever style you like it. Noise, how much noise reduction you want to do it. And by the way, this is completely free. You can do that. And if you want to trim it, or you want to change the tone, treble, uh, you know, mid range or bass. And if you want to boost something, then guess what? You can actually do it. This is a great application, by the way. You can comment down below if you going to give it a try and then tell me what sort of situation you're going to use it for and you can comment down below as well let's move on to the next application okay number six in the list is called toolbox a toolbox means multiple tools for a different purpose so that means your uh, device will be a like sort of toolbox for you different way not a physical way so you can do area calculation as well based conversion if you just tap it shape circle if you're going to put 20 radius uh 20 i'm just going to say 20 here then the area is, will be one 
25.64 this is just a calculation as well you can do countdown a flip a coin uh http request as well easy math and if you want to encrypt some file as well you can uh, select it you encrypt the file itself again music analyzer so if you want to start um, analyzing your music then always listen through then uh, obviously you need to give a permission as well it will listen to that and then from there it will give you uh, like sort of a sazam style and uh, the national anthem if you like it nearby transport stop so if you're going to go select it and you will base any location as well it will actually show you that random colors random numbers so i was just going to say a random number will just just general random numbers and then if you go in the speedometer as well so um, vehicle guess what you can check the speedometer here as well sss terminal as i mentioned before with the termux so you can ssh into the different boxes with the headless mode and guess what you can do that with this one too so that means it's built in timestamp converter url shorts which is going to actually shorten the url and whose domain is that one and you can just type it uh, whatever domain google whatever you can just select it and they will know who's lookup and youtube thumbnail if thumbnail or see want to save or generate the th thumbnail guess what you can do that as well there are a lot of things in this one particular application give it a try and comment down below which one is your favorite and what are you going to use most every single day so okay let's move into a very last app of this series so let's move on okay last but not the least this is called explore this is a great file manager and now i have featured multiple file manager on this channel and you can go check out all the videos as well of this particular channel and you'll see there are multiple file managers are featured in this one out of them i like this one most i've just done some research and this is a great file manager i really want to say thank you to michael and you know obviously creating a, such a great file manager it has a lot of built-in feature that's a very important thing you can obviously uh, look through a file manager root uh, user uh, if you have sd card you can land which is obviously you can just select what sort of if you want to add some server ftp client you can select that web storage if you can add some server in there as well ssh transfer you can do that wi-fi file transfer you can actually enable and disable at the same time which is a cool one dlna so which is you can obviously display in the different uh, networks so that means you'll be able to cast things uh, if you want to uh, set up some vault as well or if you just want to see or if you want to just turn it off turn it back on which is uh, for for this uh, Intel thing and if you look at the left and look at the right you can actually switch it between uh, if you want to use it as an app manager or install a system or if you want to go with the system app let's go open it up so these are the system apps and it has a very clean UI at first you might think this is kind of a like you know everything's everywhere but once you start using it it is very intuitive so if you want to go with uh, you know if you want to explore certain things here you can select that if you want to explore just for your internal things like a uh, internal storage or you just want to access to your file guess what you can actually from here as well and you go a little shortcuts here at the same time so you can actually go up if you want to go up directory you want to start a wi-fi server you can start that ftp server you can start that as well show hidden files sort of things and you get a configuration of this particular application so you can see there are a lot of things I mean, this application is one of the great app i've used in a long time it has everything whatever i need and i believe if you to try and ditch the old uh, you know like your stock file manager and you start using it you might like this one as well so so these sums up my total top seven must have android app for a month of april 2025 guys if you like any of this application comment down below which one is your favorite and don't forget to share this video to your friends and family members who definitely or might like one of these application you never know and in the meanwhile guys be happy stay safe this is genius x6 signing out peace